Have you ever thought that crocodiles only lurk in murky water or launch surprise attacks from riverbanks? Forget that familiar image. Hundreds of millions of years ago, there was a completely different species of crocodile. It was three meters long, and unlike today's crocodiles, it could chase prey on land at astonishing speeds, and notably, possessed boar-like tusks that protruded even when its mouth was closed. This animal didn't need water to hunt. All it needed was powerful legs to rampage on land. The name of this super unusual predator is Caprosuchus, or colloquially known as the boar crocodile. Sounds strange, doesn't it? But trust me, this is definitely the weirdest and also the most interesting phrase you'll hear today. Caprosuchus was a creature of the Cretaceous period, living approximately Dandyeva 100 million years ago when giant dinosaurs still dominated the planet. Its sole fossil, an intact skull found in the region between Morocco and Niger, opened up a whole new world of ancient crocodile diversity. Initially, some estimates suggested Caprosuchus could be up to six meters long, but recent studies, based on comparisons with its close relative Mahajangasuchus, indicate its actual size was probably only about three meters. Nevertheless, three meters is still a formidable size, and don't be mistaken about its dimensions. This creature was equipped with a highly specialized and efficient hunting apparatus. The most striking feature, which earned it the nickname boar, is its pair of long curved, upward pointing lower canine teeth. Exactly like the tusks of a wild boar. These tusks were not used to tear flesh like the teeth of modern crocodiles. Their primary purpose was to stab and firmly hold prey. Imagine you are a prehistoric cobra, slithering through the bushes, suddenly impaled by two giant, knife-sharp nails in your head. That was the typical, swift, and brutal attack style of Caprusuchus. Next are its eyes, completely unlike modern crocodiles, whose eyes are on the sides of their heads to observe underwater surroundings. Caprusuchus's eyes faced directly forward, giving it excellent 3D vision. This is a characteristic you usually only see in apex terrestrial predators, such as lions or leopards. Combined with a sturdy and almost flat skull, Caprosuchus could withstand extremely powerful bites without fear of jaw fractures. And did you notice? It also had two small, rather fierce-looking spikes on its head. Perhaps they were used to warn rivals, or to attract mates during the breeding season. Overall, this was truly a perfect hybrid design, an unexpected combination of crocodile features and terrestrial nocturnal hunters. But what truly made Caprosuchus a rebel among its crocodile relatives was its ability to run on land. Sounds unbelievable, doesn't it? But scientists have discovered that its leg bones were longer and its pelvic joints much more flexible than those of modern crocodiles. This allowed it to stand upright and walk nimbly, instead of crawling slowly and sluggishly, as we usually see. Some computer models even estimate that Caprosuchus could reach speeds comparable to a small horse, about 25-30 km h. This speed might not be outstanding if you're a cheetah, but for a crocodile, that's the speed of a true superstar. Thanks to this impressive mobility, Caprosuchus could confidently leave the water and hunt prey on land, from giant lizards, small mammals, to even the young of herbivorous dinosaurs. 
Caprosuchus belongs to the family Mahajanga Suchidae, an extinct lineage of ancient crocodiles with many distinct characteristics compared to modern crocodiles. This family left no surviving descendants to this day, but their ecological role in the past was extremely clear. They filled a unique niche between aquatic predators and terrestrial hunters. Think about it. While the gigantic 12-meter sarcosuchus, a true big boss, specialized in crushing everything in the river, the 3-meter caprosuchus was a high-speed motorcycle on the grasslands with a completely different hunting style. The existence of caprosuchus proved one thing. During the Cretaceous period, crocodiles were not just slow armored tanks in the water, but could also transform into high-speed off-road motorcycles on land. This is a vivid, undeniable proof of the flexibility of the evolutionary process. When ecological opportunities arose, when there was a gap in the food chain, even a group of animals that originally lived in water could transition to land, expanding their foraging range and skillfully avoiding fierce competition from giant carnivorous dinosaurs. Caprosuchus is a prime example of this incredible adaptation. So why did a unique and well-adapted creature like Caprosuchus disappear from the map of life? Scientists have proposed two main groups of reasons which often complement each other. First, extreme climate change at the end of the Cretaceous period caused the ancient Sahara grasslands, once home to Caprosuchus, to gradually transform into the arid, harsh desert we see today. This change meant water sources dried up, vegetation disappeared, and consequently, prey became severely scarce. Second, there was fierce competition from smaller, more agile carnivorous dinosaurs with more highly developed nervous systems. As habitats shrank and terrestrial food became extremely scarce, Caprosuchus no longer had enough room to maneuver for its unique hunting style. It could not effectively compete with these new, faster, and smarter predators. However, the lesson Caprosuchus leaves us is crystal clear. Evolution is not just simple adaptation, but also the ability to choose the right time and react promptly. Once the environment changes too quickly, too suddenly, no matter how sharp your fangs, how agile your legs, you still need enough time to bounce back and find a new path. Unfortunately, Caprosuchus did not have that lucky moment. It became a victim of Earth's constant change. Are there any species today that resemble Caprosuchus, reminiscent of a boar croc that ran fast on land? Almost none. Modern crocodiles primarily live underwater, with eyes on either side of their heads for wide observation, and their teeth are mainly used for tearing and crushing, not for piercing. Their characteristic hunting method is the death roll, thrashing prey in the water until it dies, completely different from Caprosuchus's stab and hold style on land. We can clearly see a differentiation in habitat and hunting tactics. However, if you want to find something that has a slight hint of escaping from the water, look at the Philippine crocodile. They are smaller, more sensitive to light, and can climb rocks to find sunbathing spots, a breakaway from the aquatic environment, though they cannot run like Caprosuchus. Nevertheless, no crocodile species today, or even in recent history, replicates the distinctive boar tusks and forward-facing 3D vision of the boar croc. Caprosuchus remains a unique invention of prehistory, an indelible mark of evolution. Caprosuchus is not just a hybrid monster for us to marvel at and admire. It is also a vivid testament to the incredible flexibility 
and adaptability of evolution. For tens of millions of years, the crocodile family has experimented with all sorts of versions to survive. From underwater giants like Sarcosuchus, crocodiles with bizarre mouths like Stomatosuchus, and now the boar crocodile Caprosuchus. Each time the environment changed, they transformed, seeking a new role, a new ecological niche to sustain life. Thank you for joining me on this journey to discover Caprosuchus, the strange boar crocodile of prehistoric times. If you found this video helpful and interesting, please share it with your friends and leave a comment about the prehistoric creature you'd like to learn about next. Don't forget to like, share, and hit the bell to get the latest videos from our channel. See you again on our next unexpected journeys into the prehistoric world.